What's going on guys? Hey, welcome to the Martini Project Weekly. Thank you guys for tuning in. And today we got something pretty cool going on. So stay tuned. guys so like I said we got something pretty cool going on today so thanks for tuning in to the martini project weekly if this is your first time visiting make sure and check out some of our other videos we upload the episodes every single Saturday and we're gonna continue and continue and hopefully at some point we'll be able to do multiple episodes in the week but right now it's just the Saturday upload. So thanks for tuning in. Today, like I said, we got something cool here in Alaska. It is freezing and pretty cold. So the office is a mess at the moment, which is all right. We're going through a bunch of stuff, as you can see right there. And on the other side, my wife's got some of her clothing stuff in here. But we do got something cool. So Let's uh, talk about that real quick. So today I'm going to go see AK Tattoo, Andrew Carlson, and those guys. If you guys haven't seen the video I did with him, I'll put a link to that up above. We're going to go get uh, a little bit ink laid up on the shoulder here, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm excited about that. Uh, what else do we got going on? All kinds of other fun things going on. So obviously need to clean up the office at some point but not today today we're uh, uploading we're gonna head into Anchorage and go meet those guys and uh, hopefully go get some ink laid well long overdue Andrew's a fantastic uh, tattoo artist make sure and check his uh, links out he's on Instagram all over the place I'll put those links below uh, we did hit the gym this morning which was great I got to keep up on that I'm still struggling on and off with poor eating habits um, part of it's just I get busy throughout the day just like most people do and then uh, after a while I forget to eat and then when I do it's normally too much or a poor choice so what are you guys doing as far as uh, your health and fitness for 2017 drop me a comment below i am interested i will uh respond what are your goals uh coming into 2018 here pretty quick what are your goals for 2018 um don't do the new year's resolution thing i think that's kind of a bs situation uh just commit and stick with it i've been going to the gym a lot which is one of the one of the aspects of where i want to go but of course it definitely helps with the eating part and then hydration. I've been hit and miss with uh, consuming enough water. That's another big goal of mine is water consumption. Hopefully it's a goal of yours too. Um, the snow is coming down the mountains here. Pretty quick frost every morning. Pretty thick here in Alaska. But uh, here shortly we are going to head into Anchorage. And I'm going to go meet up with Andrew. Get some ink laid. And... That'll probably wrap the day up. How's the weather in your area? Always interested in that. And uh, what do you got going on? Again, drop some comments below. Let's start some conversations. Um, this is a community kind of deal. We do enjoy uh, hearing what other people have to say. That's what uh, is creating some of the other videos we're doing on the Wrenched Out Experiment. Um, is just some comments you know we did the v-rod exhaust video and many others don't forget and i'm not trying to plug all this stuff but don't forget we are on instagram we've got the martini project which is essentially kind of the life the vlog the reality part of what we're doing then we've got the rent start experiment which has got some of our um, photos and photography stuff from alaska and then of course us talking about some of the other projects we have going on so let's uh keep going here and get on with the day
That one okay? I hope so. <laughs> I think so. It looks right. it looks good. I got good a, I just got a new go well, a used GoPro, but I gotta get an it's SDR hard. card for it. I gotta find a charger for it. Stay. So my last one broke. Probably. I got too much sand in it from Florida. Yep. We could stop right now and then we'll let it heal up okay. and then have you come back and then we'll add all the underneath ground part with the writing yep. and do some other stuff to it. Pack yep. some some white highlight. You know, I was even gonna pack some battleship grays in some areas. Oh, that sounds good. To me. You know what I mean? Yep. guys so we just got back from Anchorage it is dark out so I didn't vlog in the car because you wouldn't be able to see me um, but as you can see we wrapped up this is one of two sessions I'm gonna get all healed up and then we will continue working on this bad boy so that is uh, pretty wicked but if you guys are looking for ink I'll put his information down below you know if you have an idea or you're unsure of what you want that's where the artist's creative mind kind of kicks in. Andrew is exceptional at kind of drawing out what it is you want and they'll work with you and kind of work it to what it is you need or want done on you. But we will, uh, I'll, I'll give you guys kind of a update for me tomorrow, but for you guys, we'll uh, just skip ahead to the next day starting now. All right guys, so it's been four days since I went and got my tattoo done and I wanted to give kind of an update to you guys and let you know how everything's going, show you what it looks like and just uh, kind of end the weekly vlog with this. So one thing, um, when you get done with your tattoo or even if you're anticipating getting a tattoo, you'll want to get some kind of ointment to kind of cover it up as 
when it starts to uh, heal, it'll start getting kind of nasty and start peeling and a bunch of other things. So what Andrew and the guys at Alaska Tattoo told me to get, in which I never heard of before, for my other tattoos, I always used A&D ointment and similar products that I got told about, but I'm using Aquaphor. Looks like this. Let's see if my camera will zoom in. Right there. I'll put a link to this down below if you guys are looking for this product. You can pretty much get it anywhere. Um, it is a little bit, bit spendy, but it's actually done a really good job. It's washed out of all of my clothes. I don't know if you can see kind of the shadowing on my shirt today, because I have it on um, today. It does, it will uh, kind of soak into your clothing. Um, and obviously if you're gonna put a coat on or anything else, it will go into your coat or any other products. Not a big deal though. Um, another thing, if you've never gotten a tattoo, you gotta anticipate this. You also gotta anticipate maybe some slight soreness and whatnot. I actually went to the gym, uh, not the day of or the day after so two days after I got the tattoo, on the second day I actually did go to the gym. Everything was fine. Obviously I, you still have to clean it up. I clean mine, just be careful with it. So let's take a look at what we have so far, right there. So you have the helmet, the sword, and the sun. So obviously this is part one of a two-part series here. I'm actually getting ready to head off to work and I will, as I start getting back, I'll get a hold of Andrew and we'll set up the next appointment. Um, I can't stress this enough, especially if you're in Alaska, you gotta get a hold of these guys. These guys do a fantastic job. Andrew's really flexible. He has a uh, artist there, Jeremy, who's also extremely flex flexible. You get a hold of these guys. Instagram, Facebook, any of those, just ping them some ideas, tell them what you're looking for, they'll, they'll help you out. They're really cool, great to BS with, and just an all around great experience. Um, I, I can't say enough, enough, I'm super excited to get this finished, and then hopefully from there, get some more artwork done. So, that is uh, wrapping up, going and getting a tattoo, I do have plans for multiple other ones. This is just one I've wanted for a while now. Obviously I'm in the garage. We are, well I have been cleaning up. I did wait a couple of days um, just so I can show you guys really what it looked like. It did start flaking a little bit today but that was just because I took a shower, put the ointment on and was running around. But I'm gonna put more ointment on. I feel great, no issues on the shoulder, no soreness, no nothing. Um, so life is good. It'll probably take another week for it to heal to where I'm, I, I should hopefully be done with the flaking and, and any of that stuff. Um, the kids are doing great, everybody's doing very well. In fact, my daughter, I just got, checked the mail and she got a like an honorable mention from her school for great attitude. So, Maria, if you're watching this, great job. Dad did see the mail. So, all right guys, so thank you for tuning in to the weekly, until next week, Wow!